Hi everyone, it's Rick. Before I get started on my video today, I want to say that my website's up, sort of. It doesn't look great. There's a few things I need to fix on it, but if you want to buy some items, they are now available. I will be adding more items soon, and the store should work, so give it a shot if you like. I, I hope it works. Let me know, please, if there's something not working. So anyway, check it out, see what you like, and we'll talk. Hello again, it's me, uh, ready for some more comic book cleaning action. This time it's the price variance of some Miss Marvel comic books from the 70s. You get to see me clean these and see what uh, what I do. Now, why is, this, why is this a little different? Well, I started cleaning really hard, kind of aggressively, this orca part, this black part in the middle to show what my oxidizing cleaner, which unfortunately I don't sell, can do to black ink if you're doing the whole page. Now it did take a little bit of the black ink off, but the whole page looks better, so you have to do your balance. Just the regular cleaner that I use didn't take the black ink off, but didn't do as good of a job as whitening the, the whole thing. You'll be able to see your pictures, the, the before and afters here. I'll give you a minute to look at them and see what you think. You'll notice that in the middle of the R and Orca in the example I'm posting here, you'll see that some of the black ink is a little bit lighter. Now, I aggressively cleaned it pretty hard for a long time, and the whole book looks a little bit wider overall, so kind of make your your own balances there. Also, a fun little thing is I found what I believe to be the first appearance of the Madam Web character three years before she appeared in Amazing Spider-Man 210. Now, it's one of those Twinkies Donuts commercial things, but it's the character named Madam Web, so you know, take from that what you will. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you around online. Take care. Bye-bye. So let's say you make a mistake like I did, and you have a relatively valuable comic book, and you've stuck your comic book on the back here with this tape, with the resealable tape that I, I hate. What do you do? Well, here's what you do. You take your steamer, like I have here, and I'm going to hold it up to this, and I'm going to let the gravity do its work. Um, so I can't hold this and do it. I'll show you when I'm done. I have steam going on the book right there. And then you just kind of push this with the gravity kind of, I don't push it any harder than gravity and just let the book kind of fall. It'll, fall. It'll eventually come off. Let's watch. And then, here it goes. Then, under the force of gravity only and steam, well, book comes off, and the book is not damaged. So that's what we do. But speaking of the book, I want to get these little stickers off of here too. The customer has his little two-dollar price tag, so we're going to steam those up till the page wrinkles. So get that good, and then we're going to do it on the opposite side too, which you'll be able to see a little bit. But we're going to steam it on the back. Now, and this is the important part. You're going to want to try to take them off right away, but don't don't try to take them right away. Let them sit for, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so after they've been steamed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remove these two stickers now. We've, let it, we've steamed it, let it sit. So why don't you zoom in on here, Nolan? Okay. And then we're just going to lift these stickers off with our things. Make sure it's hot. Yep, it's getting nice and toasty. It smells hot, if that makes sense. It does, it does make sense and it does smell hot. So we're just gonna push this under here and you're gonna watch as the sticker comes up. Man, that's a good tool to use. Yeah, it is. And it, we had to kind of, we pre-soaked it with some steam. It helps loosen the adhesive first. What that basically does is helps you get more of the, uh, the, the glue up with the, this hot iron. And so we're just going to push down and we're just going to hold it against the sticker and it will slowly come up. Looks like it's working. Yeah. It does. It does work. Looks like by this point it could just peel it off. You don't want to do that. I know, <laughs> but at this point it could. <laughs> okay, those are off. It leaves a little bit of a scuff mark, but that's where that's going to be. And stop that for now. We're going to back of this book's pretty bad. We're going to 
try and see what an eraser does to it. It does something. It cleans it up okay, actually. Yeah, it does. Not great, but this is just a regular pink pearl. It's a little bit. We're just kind of we're checking it out here. Not really great, but a little. Um, yeah. We are gonna use our cleaner first, and so I'm gonna put a comic book bag under this part here, and then okay. we are gonna take some cleaner. It's the Mackie Clean stuff. Yeah. It's a four percent solution. And then we're just gonna wipe it on here. See what, see how much dirt we pick up and also see if it looks any better. It looks a little better. Yeah, I'm expecting, I would say, uh, a, a small, decent amount of dirt. Let's mm. go check it out. You gotta let it loosen and you have to kind of do it again. Oh yeah, that is a small, decent. Actually, might just like high dis decent. Well, we'll get it. We can make this entirely white. Um, yeah. Different stuff, but this see, is just a quick poor. pass. Yeah, see the dirt we took it off of there? Oh, wow, yeah, that is a high decent. <laughs> yeah, but if you really want it to look good, we will use an another separate cleaner um, yeah. from this, and it will look fantastico. So we'll let this dry, and after this dries, we will actually, we can actually use Daddy's Super Cleaner on it, see what it looks like if you super want to do that. If you want to do that, you want to do that? You can do a Super Cleaner. All right, all right. It's gonna be crazy town. All right, ready? This is Q-tip level work though, because this is... Now, yeah, you got it right here? Watch what we're doing. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in a lot too times. Okay, so watch this, we're gonna run this cleaner on here, the spine. This is gonna come out like a lot cleaner, so we'll put it there. This is a two-part deal, because we have to neutralize it or it'll eat the paper up, so we can't leave it on there forever. Yeah. And then we'll just kind of draw around the outside here a little bit. This thing is so bad that we're not really doing a lot with it, but we'll, we're just gonna do it lightly. I mean, we'd take all day doing this if we did it otherwise. And then we are gonna run part B to stop it before the paper gets brittle, which it does in about five minutes. So what we're gonna do here is we take part B, which is this part, watch out, the might okay, squirt yeah. out. Okay, it didn't squirt out, okay, we're good. Okay. Now, watch this, watch what happens. It's gonna foam up. Foam? See it? Yeah, I see some foam. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, you can see some. It looks like goo almost. Yeah. Um, you see that, yeah. But yeah, it is looking a lot wider by far. Yeah, we have to neutralize it so we kind of. Yeah, I'm actually look, way wider. We don't want it to look too white. Yes. Just remember, it looks a lot wider in real life and it looks a lot <laughs> better in real life. Yeah, let me get this corner here. We have to kind of stop it from going too far. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take care of it here. It'll look a lot better when we're done, I think. Yeah, probably. Let's see. Yeah. It's going to take some time. Alrighty, well, let's just let it dry now and then see what happens, son. Yeah. Okay, well, we got to get this part here, obviously. Yeah. What are we doing? Sides are super dirty. Yeah, we'll get that off of there. Oh. I just hit my finger, it's gonna be sore a little bit. Okay. Oh. All right, pal. And then I'll take the other one. Yeah. And then watch it foam. Get close. Force the foam? Watch. See, oh, it's not foaming. Oh, it's not? It must not be, it must have been on there too long. Let's see what happens here. It'll look better. When it, all, it looks kind of streaky now, but it'll look better when it's dried. All right, pal, you can stop there if you want. Okay. We have this section over here, which is going to have some stuff on it, which we're going to we'll clean this off. Whoops, since it's white, I'm not even on the camera. It'll, we'll get that off of there. That's part A, and then we'll put the part B on here and see what we can do to see it foaming. That'll probably look pretty good when we're done. Get this up here too. Then, now that we've got sort of the spots that we wanted to get cleaned, we will do the whole thing. So I will take a pad here and put my cleaner on it. And I'm just gonna wipe the surface lightly. And we'll see, it'll bring some of the colors out. And oh, there's a sticky spot right here. Sticky. Oh, that's the stickers, huh? Um, it's 
kind of wipe it off. Make it look cleaner all together. And uh, yeah, we're still getting we get a little dirt. I mean, it just increases the eye appeal a little. If you saw them side by side, you'd notice, but if you, you may not notice if you're never saw it dirtier. All right, well, uh, how do we do? Not much came off, actually. All right, well, that's the book, and then we'll press it a little bit, see. So here's what our Miss Marvel looks like. And here's what the back looks like now. Is it better? Yeah, it's better. I mean, I could have gone over this more and make it look even better, but I, it's very hard to get it very even. Like, could I work on it and make it look, you know, really more even with these precision Q-tips? Yes, yes, I could. I am, I am not going to do that. It's not worth the effort in this particular case. It is a fun experiment, but these 35 cent variants look nicer. I would say they look better. And that's it. They look pretty good. They're fun. They're fun books. Oh, I should mention, most people are going to think that the first appearance of Madam Web is in Amazing Spider-Man, I think, 210 from 1980. However, I believe, if you look in Miss Marvel here, which is from 1977? Yes, 1977. If we look in, I think it's this one right here. We have Spider-Man and Madam Web. And this is this is really hilarious. I I have to stop and tell you guys this story. It says Spider-Man accused of tangling harbor in his web. So there's a big web, a bridge. I guess not really a harbor, but he says he's here moping around, not not doing anything about it. Just saying everyone thinks I'm to blame. I'm tired of running from the cops, but I must get through and save the harbor. Like you could just cut the stuff down, right? So anyway. This woman here, Madam Webb, who is in some orange and black and purple stuff, who apparently shoots webs and hangs out on the bridge, like right where the problem is occurring, but no one thinks to blame her. It reads, I love Spider-Man, but, oh, but he rejected me, me, Madam Webb. So my revenge, I'll make everyone blame him for tangling the harbor. Spider-Man, my only love, come with me. Let's run away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run away. Oh my god, who writes this? Madam Webb, that love crazed fiend. Oh man. And then she re he says, Well, what if I gave you a whole bunch, as if it's fruit, of delicious hostess Twinkies cakes instead? Would you clear the harbor and my good name? Okay. Oh, for that I'd clear up the ocean, the world, anything. Well, you know, um start by cleaning up the ocean, <laughs> I would suggest. Oh, golden sponge cakes, cream filling. And then Spider-Man is totally a dick here because I guess she's the only one who can clear those webs and she does and, and takes the blame. And then Spidey's like, laters. He says, she says, first I lose Spider-Man, then hostess Twinkie Cakes. What a tangled web. She is such a, lo a loyal admirer of mine. Yeah, dude, you just screwed her over too. Um, but uh, anyway, it says... Uh, Yay, Spider-Man. Yay, Twinkies cakes. So anyway, <laughs> just absolutely ridiculous. But if you want a real first appearance of Madam Web, well, at least the name Madam Web, maybe I'm sure it's not the same character. Here you go. That's in uh, Miss Marvel number seven, three years earlier than anybody thinks. And so, oh, by the way, these Miss Marvel books aren't, aren't terrible. They're pretty good. They're, they're kind of good reading if you if you want to explore these books, they're okay. Not bad.